Hello, 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 hello. How y'all doing? This is your girl, Burnett Perkins, and I'm coming back with a reaction video on Mr. Cryer, Ella by Erica, The Marker, Creole Bay. If y'all looked at the first video, y'all would know what's going on with the second video. So Mr. Cryer is about to get ready to get into details about what's going on. See, this stuff played back like the first of this year or maybe the end of last year, and Creole Bay husband came into the scene and you got Michael J you know he spoke on it a couple times or whatever whatnot but now the pot has stirred back up and the shit do stink so with that being said I'm sorry for the cussing but it is what it is sometimes I cuss a little bit so I'm not I'm not a Christian not yet so Y'all do me a favor, go to White Water 88 and check out her channel. Uh, make sure y'all check out Love by Erica, Creole Bay, Mr. Cryer, the Marker, J. Michael, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, we're going to get ready to get to this video and see what is going on. I haven't looked at the video yet, so that's why I can't speak on it because I don't know. I just seen a little bit of it. Just a touch a love a little bit. Just a touch of love. Why is it that YouTube would not let us play music? And then when you do, you get a copyright. Then this money that you make goes over to the person that, you know, made the song to the person. Y'all heard what I said to the person that made the video. Um, hmm, yeah, they get the rear. They, I mean, not the rear, but they get the money. You get what I'm saying? Y'all follow me. Y'all follow me. Follow me. And I want to say y'all are so beautiful out there. I want to thank y'all for y'all comments and being very, very respectful. Please be respectful on this video as well. No name calling, but do um, say your opinion. You know, voice your opinion in a polite way. Y'all know how to do it like a little nasty, nice way or whatever, whatnot. Y'all know how to do it. Buff it up a little bit. Make it look good and, you know, brush your shoulder off and make it look clean for me, okay? So we're about to get ready to get into this video. I'm about to present to y'all. If y'all haven't seen it, you may look at it over here. You may go over there and look at it. But either way, make sure y'all look at it. And not only that, when the commercials pop up, don't run through them. Just don't run through them. Let them play on out. Go and grab you something to drink, something to snack on. Go change the baby diaper. Go get the children ready for school. Go get your spouse a kiss on the jaw or tell them you love them. Just let the commercial play out for me. Okay? For me. You get what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? So I'm about to get ready to get out of here. And I want to say I love you guys. Thank you to the new subscriber. Thank you to the old subscribers on here. And your girl, Burnett Perkins, about to be ready to be out of here. Gang, 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 gang. Game beam squad, yo squad, I was go. Love y'all. I'm out of here. Peace. But again, I see people trying to move differently. So I question myself. Should I move differently? Or should I let you guys see really what type of people that these really are? In the words of one of the exes. There's another ex that was with one of them for three years. Okay. The ex, this is all real guys. One of the exes. They were together for three years. Worked for this company. Uh, it's like a cleaning service. Uh, drive one of the big old, I don't want to say the name of the company. Drive one of these, uh, it almost looked like a Penske sized truck or like an 18 foot U-Haul truck. Works for one of the companies that does like the cleaning services for like companies, uniforms and stuff like that. And you know, he was dropped like a bad habit after three years um, because of uh, I guess me, because somebody seen another opportunity, a quick opportunity, you know, and, and he was dropped like a man happened. I spoke with him very briefly. I asked him if they could record a conversation so there wouldn't be no sneaky stuff involved. He said he didn't feel comfortable with the recording, but he broke everything down to me. Did I record it anyway? Maybe. Maybe. Because it's like I want people to know the truth. Because I've asked, like, you know, like, guys, please, you know, last year when she put this video up, flashing her phone, talking about I didn't buy the furniture, it's just lying on me, bro, just lying. There is nothing wrong with telling the truth. Just because you don't want to be with somebody no more, don't need you to start lying on them. Like it's something. It just means that y'all ain't together no more. And for everybody thinking that the breakup happened because of I told Erica some secrets, nah, y'all don't really know the truth. I got to the truth, y'all. I got to the truth. I got to the truth about everything, man. I got to the truth about everything. 
I have everything. I understand people got families, they got children. Even though some of them seem like they really don't care about their kids because of the stuff that they allow their kids to see. But I'm gonna be respectful. You know, I asked for this group to stop firing shots at me. You know, in multiple videos. I've even said it in slip ways. People always got something to say about me. You know, and I don't know if that's gonna change now. From what I'm seeing, there's starting to be some changes made. Hopefully those changes stay made. Because I'm one of those people right there, man. I, you know, I don't bite my tongue for no man. Absolutely not. Nor am I intimidated by no man. Sometimes I choose to speak on situations. Sometimes I choose not to speak on situations. Again, like he said, there's a time and a place for everything. But don't come on this internet trying to make yourself and your girlfriend look like that y'all guys get the earth when y'all know both of y'all, like I said in my last video. I stand firmly behind it. Especially what I have now. I stand firmly behind what I said. Y'all both full of shit. Y'all really are. You see guys, all of this whole thing was all a setup in the beginning. It was all a setup. All of it. That's what people get for running their mouth. The whole thing was a setup from the beginning. Beginning. From the beginning, even I was dumb and stupid and pulled in. Thank God I didn't say yes, well, yes, I'll get a house with you. When I was asked to get a house with her, I said, hell no, no, no. We don't know each other like that, but a couple weeks, maybe a month at best. We already talking about getting a house together, moving in together. What? Hell no. Nah. That ain't gonna happen. Besides, my son was only six months. We all know how it is. Trying to start a relationship with a new woman and she finds out that you got a son that's only six months old. Imagine having a woman pregnant, not even seeing your son yet. How do you think that's gonna work out? By the way, congratulations to your new house. Y'all are an example of a power couple. I mean, we all wanna be like y'all one day. I mean, get together after three or four, shared accounts, houses, man. You guys are the freaking best. Y'all are. Anyway, I'm gonna stay on top of here. I could be grinding at 30 right now. You know. I could be really grinding at 30. Hold on. What Mr. Cry you got? I could be really grinding and dirty right now. Uh-huh. Okay. Anyway, I decided to go ahead and do a sit down myself. And I did. It wasn't very long. It was maybe 25 minutes. Maybe a little less than 25 minutes. Um, and all I'm going to say, man, people are really not who they say they are, bro. You know, I believe... Me reaching out to the exes was what this, especially this particular person needed. Because this person was, from my understanding, still seems kind of really hurt, devastated. You know, and hurt people hurt people. You know, this person don't feel like they have anything to lose at all. And I'm gonna tell you, he's a very sweet person. I'm not even gonna sit here and lie. Very, 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 very sweet individual. Really is, I think. <laughs> Guys, listen, man. I'm going to sit back and watch and just see what's happening. I'm going to sit back and watch and see what's going to go down. Because right now, I was expecting a response from my video Friday. I didn't get one. Not the one I wanted. If that didn't come up for me, he, he, he went for Erica. I guess, but he still, you know, uh, wished her well and all that other stuff. You know, I guess that's a start. My thing is, you know, I ask for one thing and one thing only. I can't stop people from talking about me, you know, and I'm not sitting here trying to fight her battles. Trust me, she got her own guns, <laughs> locked and loaded. All I'm gonna say, man, is, hey, people shouldn't jump into situations that has nothing to do with them. And the reason why I'm in a situation is because I've been there side by side the whole entire time. I feel like I have a right to speak up. I don't feel like the other person, and I don't mean him. 
the other person have a right to put name off on nothing. Because sitting there manipulating that dude. If a woman can manipulate a man, it means that she looks at him as a weak man. That means she looks at him like he's a weak man. I don't look at him like he's a weak man. I can't really say anything bad about the dude. I don't even know the dude. Don't really know him. Don't really care to ever meet him. You know, but my opinion is when a woman tries to manipulate a man, or a man tries to manipulate a woman, it means that he views her as being a weak person. You know, like I said, I could be dirty and grimy right now. I wasted, I mean, I spent my money to drive. She didn't even want my money for the sit down. I offered her money for the sit down. She didn't even want it. Yeah, I said she. She. Yeah, it's a she. She didn't even want my money. All I'm going to say, man, is people not who they say they are. They not who they are portrayed to be. Everything you guys see is up front, man. It's all up front. You know, I took extra measures to make sure nothing's going to happen. Everybody's going to be good, man. You know, I'm not God. I'm not a king. You know, I'm not God Almighty. I don't expect to come on here and everybody on side with me. Just because I've been there, you know, I don't expect that. But what I do expect and all I ask for, quit firing shots at me. You know, handle your business, bro. Handle your business. No more shots fired, man. No more shots fired. Because if they do continue to be fired, I guess I'm just going to be known as one of the most pettiest 51 year olds on YouTube and I'm really not trying to do that but if I have to I will be petty so I did do an interview I did have a sit down and um, I'm just going to see where this goes man that's it I'm just going to see where this goes I'm very tired and I'm very sleepy I'm going to take a nap I love you guys and I'm going to see y'all in the next video Hey YouTube, I hope y'all enjoyed that video. Make sure you go to Mr. Cryer's channel, the Monka family, and watch the whole entire video so y'all get the concepts of what's going on. Don't be in the bushes. Y'all, you know what? I hope y'all asses get bit by mosquitoes. Keep keep on being in them bushes instead of coming on out and letting everybody see who you are. Represent these channels. Y'all be shaming yourself in the dang on blasting bush. Don't go and try to buy no off and don't try to go and buy no candles to get rid of them doing mosquito bite. That's what you get for being in the bushes. I want to say live, love, laugh, laugh, love, live, peace, and love, and have grease. And I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Again, make sure y'all go and subscribe to my channel. Mr. Cryer, the Marker family, Creo Bay, including Erica. And not only that, one more channel I want to give a shout out to, and that'll be with um, Water, White Water. I just keep messing that up. White Water 88. That's my shout out to her. Go check her out. I want to say bye. Peace.